Luke 11, 14 through 28. No Neutral Ground Jesus delivered a man from a demon that had kept him speechless. The demon gone, the man started talking a blue streak, taking the crowd by a complete surprise. But some from the crowd were cynical. Black magic, they said. Some devil trick he's pulled from his sleeve. Others were skeptical, waiting around for him to prove himself with a spectacular miracle. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Any country in civil war for very long is wasted. A constantly squabbling family falls to pieces. If Satan cancels Satan, is there any Satan left? You accuse me of ganging up with the devil, the prince of demons, to cast out demons. But if you're slinging devil mud at me, calling me a devil who kicks out devils, doesn't the same mud stick to your own exorcists? But if it's God's finger I'm pointing that sends the demons on their way, then God's kingdom is here for sure. When a strong man, armed to the teeth, stands guard in his front yard, his property is safe and sound. But what if a stronger man comes along with superior weapons? Then he's beaten at his own game, the arsenal that gave him such confidence hauled off, and his precious possessions plundered. This is war and there is no neutral ground. If you're not on my side, you're the enemy. If you're not helping, you're making things worse. When a corrupting spirit is expelled from someone, it drifts along through the desert looking for an oasis, some unsuspecting soul it can bedevil. When it doesn't find anyone, it says, I'll go back to my old haunt. On return, it finds the person swept and dusted, but vacant. It then runs out and rounds up seven other spirits, dirtier than itself, and they all move in, whooping it up. That person ends up far worse than if he'd never gotten cleaned up in the first place. While he was saying these things, some woman lifted her voice above the murmur of the crowd, Bless the womb that carried you, and the breasts that which you nursed. Jesus commented, Even more blessed are those who hear God's word and guard it with their lives.